Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make Instagram templates on Canva to sell, as this is a good way to make passive income online. Before diving in, what are Instagram templates and how are you able to make money with them? Well, Instagram templates, as you can see right here, these are basically editable posts or stories. So just like how you'll normally post a story or a post on Instagram, with this, you'll be able to create editable Instagram posts and stories. So you'll be able to sell it to others and they'll be able to add their own personal touches or they can upload it directly. So for example, let's say you own a dentistry or you are a real estate agent. It can be very time consuming to come up with different ideas on Instagram posts and Instagram stories. So this is why persons tend to purchase a package and from there, all they'll need to do is simply add in, for example, their phone number or their location on the post that they will like to redirect persons to, and they'll be able to post it directly onto Instagram. So this is why this is a very popular way to make money online and why a lot of persons are purchasing it. As you can see right here, this post has been viewed over 18 times in the last 24 days. And you can see that they are selling this package for $22.39. And if I were to scroll down, you can see that they have numerous reviews from recently. And if I were to go on to another example, you can see in demand, three persons purchased this in the last 24 hours. And by scrolling down, you can see right there numerous reviews. And if I were to go on to another one, you can see right here, it is also in demand. As a lot of business owners are purchasing these Instagram templates, as it makes it easy to build up social proof. So I definitely recommend that you give this a try. Now to get started, you're going to go onto Canva. Once on Canva, you can create an account for completely free. After you have created your account, you could tap on social media below the search bar. Then from there, you can choose whether you like to create Instagram posts or Instagram story, or you could create both. Now, let's say, for example, we would like to create Instagram story templates. I'm going to select that. After selecting that, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can decide how many templates you'll be offering in each package. So let's say, for example, I will be offering three. So I'm just going to tap on add page twice. So you can see that I have three pages right here. Now it is time to start creating our templates. To create templates, you could go over to the left hand menu option and you can see some template ideas right here. And you could also go onto Instagram or you could go onto Etsy for some inspiration and see what other persons are selling so that you'll have an idea of what at the moment is in demand. Now, after adding the pages, let's say, for example, we are creating our templates to sell to dentists. So all we need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on elements. And from here, I'm just going to type in dentist real quick and see what comes up. I'm going to select dentist. Then after here, you'll see different options. So you can see photos, you can see graphics. I'll be showing you how to use both photos and graphics. So we are going to tap on see all for the photos. Keep in mind that these are copyright free images that you can use. So all we'll need to do, let's say we'll select this one. I'll select this image, tap on the three dots, then tap on set image as background. After I've selected this image, I'm just going to add in, for example, a text box right here on which they'll be able to add their phone number or their address. So I'll go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text. Then from there, I'm going to tap on add editing and I'll simply pull it down. And then from there, you could type in a dummy address for example sake. So let me do that real quick. So I could type in for example address here. After you have done that, you could edit the text style. So I would change the text color or you could put a box behind the text. So to do this, all you'll need to do is tap on effects in the top right hand corner. Then you'll tap on background and you could add a background box as you can see right there. 
and I could change the color of that by tapping on the yellow box right here. You could change it to another color if you want. So let's say for example, I would like to change it to that color or a light green, you could do that real quick. After you have done that, all you'll need to do now, if you want to change the font style, you can tap where you see Canvas Sans, and from there you could change the font style if you want, and you could type out whatever you want. Another thing you could also do, we could scroll down, go to page two, then tap on elements. From here, we could look for a video, then we could scroll down, and you can select any one of these videos, Keep in mind that the videos that you see with the crown that says pro, you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use them. But I would definitely recommend that you sign up to the paid plan. As you can see that there are numerous copyright free videos that you'll be able to use. So I would definitely recommend that you sign up with them. So once you have found a video, let's say for example sake, I will use this one. All you'll need to do, you could tap on the three dots once more. Then from there, you could tap on set video. After you have tapped on set video, you can see how the video would look. And again, you will simply tap on text. Then from there, you could tap on add a text right here. And again, you could add a box behind the text by tapping on effects. Then you'll tap on background. And from there, once they purchase the templates, they'll be able to add in whatever text they want to add right here and be able to add it onto their story. As remember that you are selling editable templates, so they'll be able to quickly edit it. And you could go on and you could create a third page. So I could tap right there and I could create a third page. Let's say I wanted to use graphics for this third page. All I would need to do is, for example, select this one. After I've selected this image, I can increase the size. So let me do that real quick. Then I'm going to tap on text once more, add text, and I'm going to say kids friendly. After you have done that, you could change the font style, tap where you see Canvas Sans, and you could choose a different font style. So you could choose a different font style real quick, as you can see right here. Then if you would like to change the background color, you could do that. You get the idea. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now, you could tap on share in the top right hand corner. After tapping on share, you're going to tap on more from the drop down menu option. Once you have tapped on more, I want you to select template link. So you're going to tap on template link, then you'll tap on create your link and you'll simply copy this link. So this is what persons are going to receive once they have completed their purchase. So if it is a case that you would like to sell it on Etsy, all you'll need to do after creating your Etsy account, which is quite straightforward, all you'll need to do is sign up using your Google account. Then from there, you could tap on your profile pic in the top right hand corner, and you're going to see the option store manager. Once you have gone onto your store manager, you'll tap right there. Then once you have done that, you're going to tap on stock your shop and you'll tap on add a heading, add a listing better yet. After tapping on add a listing, you'll select digital files. You could put in the file name right there. After putting in the file name, you'll scroll down. You'll select who made it and you're going to select right there, 2020 to 2024. After doing that, you will tap on save and continue and you'll continue with your upload. And you're going to simply paste the link that you have copied Onto, you can paste it onto a blank page from Canva and that is what persons will be receiving once they complete their purchase. You could also create a website, a popular platform that I would recommend you use to create a website is Fortwall. With Fortwall, you'll be able to sell digital products. So let's say for example, you were to use Fortwall. You will simply tap on start now. Then from there, you could sign up using your Google account and when I say free, I don't mean a free free subscription or free trial period. I mean free forever. As you can see right here, it is completely free to use. Once you're signed up to Fort Wall, you'll be redirected to this page. And all you'll need to do is tap on products, then tap on create new product. Then, for example, we would tap on sell digital product. 
after tapping on sell digital products from here you would add your product name and this is where you would upload your template on to upload the template as i was saying earlier for example all we would need to do is once on canva you could tap on add new page right here then from there you could simply tap on add a heading then you will tap on link we could change the text so we could say here's the link then after doing that you could tap on the text tap on the three dots tap on link and you could paste in the template link right there then tap on done so this is what they are going to receive once you have done that you will tap on share in the top right hand corner and you want to change it to pdf after selecting pdf we are going to select page 4 only so let's do that real quick then tap on done then tap on download once it has been downloaded as you can see right there if i were to open it then go onto it you can see right here so this is what they'll receive once they tap on the link they'll be redirected to canva and you can see a template created by jason was shared with you and they'll tap on edit template and they'll be able to edit the templates so after creating that you'll simply go back into fort wall you could tap on drop new file then you'll simply select it right here the pdf tap on open and that's what they'll receive you can set your selling price you could add a cover image which would be the mock-up image of the templates and tap on save and you'll be able to start selling it and you can see that with fort wall if you were to sell it for example for five dollars you'll still be able to make 485 as they'll only be taking 15 cents hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe